What's up, YouTube? Charmin Xsoft here coming at you guys with a brand new Witcher 3 video. Now, it's important to note this is not a glitch. This is actually a way to make money exploiting the fair trade system, as you could say, where you basically are buying low and selling high. But either which way, you need to go to Novingrad, and when you go over there, you want to go to the signpost mark with the hierarchy square. This area is basically your area that you're going to go ahead and make all your money. And the way you're going to do this is with seashells. I know it kind of sounds a little weird, but that's what it is. So once you go ahead and you get up into this market square, you're going to want to walk around and you're going to want to pretty much go over to where the, uh, the little dwarf guy is, where he pretty much runs the bank. And what you can do is when you turn around, you're going to find that there's a merchant there. Sometimes he actually shows up as a little merchant bag over his head, sometimes he doesn't, but he's still there no matter what. So go ahead and talk to this guy, and then what you want to do is buy seashells from him. I mean, that's it. It's that simple. You just want to buy seashells. It sounds crazy, guys, I know. But you want to buy up as many seashells as you can, so go ahead and you can actually get not actually just the seashells, but the regular shells too. So seashells and shells, they're very, very, very cheap and just keep buying these things. So once you've pretty much spent almost all your money, except for, I don't know, five, 10 gold left over so you can go ahead and dismantle, then you wanna go Show see a blacksmith. Ways. But as you can see, every single time you go out of him, then you can go ahead and buy more because he replenishes his stock. Now again, this is not a glitch. No matter which way you do it, whether you go all the way out of the conversation or if you go halfway out of the conversation back to show me your wares, he will always replenish his stock and it has comes in as different numbers. This works on every single merchant. They will always replenish stock and that's the way that games have worked for a very long time. So again, I want to repeat, this is not a glitch. This is exactly how you basically exploit fair trade. And this happens in the world all the time, every day. And you get the idea of what I'm saying. You just basically are buying low and selling high. So to make a long story short, just way. keep buying as many seashells as possible. And then you want to go over and see your blacksmith. Now there's a blacksmith literally pretty much right behind this guy. So turn around, go see the blacksmith. And when you do that, you want to actually go and break these seashells down because you're not selling seashells. You're using them to make pearls. So go over and go to that breakdown or dismantle, excuse me, and you will see they cost one gold a piece to go ahead and break down a seashell or a shell, and it'll both make pearls or black pearls. Now, black pearls are worth the most, but either which way, they both are worth a lot of money. So as you can see, I only had five pieces of gold left, so now I broke those down, and I have a couple of pearls here and there. I actually do have some regular pearls and some black pearls, but you saw me break down there to five black pearls. So now you want to go to the merchant and go to your alchemy and crafting section, and you want to turn a profit. So you want to sell these pearls, and you can see he's giving you like 142 for every black pearl. So go ahead and sell your five pearls. I had six. I'm gonna go over here to my one pearl. He's giving me 109. I'm gonna sell that one. And now I'm up to like 900 and some gold, which is pretty much where I started. I had, I think, 1100 when I started this entire video. So from 1100, I'm at 900 and something. And I've just broke down a couple of seashells. And I got 46 more to go on the regular seashells. And I got like another 50 something to go on the regular shells. Irregardless, I'm now collecting a bunch of pearls and black pearls. And if you look over here at the armorer, he's currently holding 2,077 gold, which is way more than what I had already had when I started. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna talk to this guy again now that I have both pearls and black pearls, and I'm gonna start selling. As you can see, you can see the big numbers after them, which basically tells you exactly everything they're worth if he could afford to buy them all, but he can't. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell these here, and I'm pretty much just gonna empty his bank out. So now he really doesn't have much money, he can't buy any pearls from me, but that's okay, because now I'm rolling into money. I've got over 2,000 gold right now, so and that's more than what I started with. The other cool part is once you're done with him, you can actually turn around and go around the corner, and there's actually another blacksmith, because blacksmiths are the people that you want to talk to to go ahead and turn this profit. So I go around the corner here, and you will see that there's a sign over here for a blacksmith. So if he's not here, then he's probably being lazy and he's out there sleeping or something like that. So you can do the old little trick I like to do. Go ahead, meditate it out. And when you do that for the meditate him out for the next day, he should hopefully be there. If not, just kind of wait around or whatever, but he'll come back. So it's not too big a deal. Once he comes back, you basically go ahead, talk to this guy, 
and then you sell out all your pearls to him. Now, he may be giving you a different rate. You know, the exchange rate might be different for him. One blacksmith might give you more for certain pearls. One blacksmith might give you less. Irregardless, you can keep doing this. You'll have a bunch of pearls stocked up, you know, so you can pretty much just keep making as much money as you want. And you won't really have to worry about purchasing stuff because as long as you've got pearls in your inventory, you can always go ahead and sell some pearls to make more money. And that is a perfect example of the fair trade system that happens in the world today. Now I've got 3,000 some odd gold and I'm good to go. But anyway, guys, just so like I was saying before, this is not a glitch. It's just a video to show you how to make some quick cash. Very easy in Witcher 3. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you do, please feel free to go ahead and slap a like on this. And don't forget to subscribe. And you can also feel free to comment and follow me on Twitter for all my YouTube updates. Again, I'm Charmin X Off saying, y'all come back now, you hear?